Big team battle bandit rifle starts are happening today. Community manager Unishek replied to a user out here saying, please add a playlist with bandit rifle and assault rifle as primary loadouts, thank you. And Uni replies back saying, imagine if we tried that in the new BTB Unlimited tomorrow with the eyes. Well, to me, that's all signs pointing to yes, that's happening if by the time you're watching this video today. And I talked about this in my previous video that I uploaded on Monday, saying that the bandit rifle should actually be a really great addition when it comes to BTB as a starting weapon, as I think it does a really good job of kind of filling that middle ground where it's not super snipey like the battle rifle is or how the commando can be, but also is rather effective at range, giving you advantages to play against players who might have like a shock rifle, sniper rifle, stalker rifle, and things like that. And you heard correctly, the BTB unlimited playlist, just like for what we had for week one with the new arena unlimited playlist that you'll be able to chance to play out some of the new material and stuff like that. You have the same thing for Big Team Battle, but this is just going to be Oasis. So think of this as like an Oasis 24-7 playlist. I've seen a lot of guys out there in the comments saying you've been playing for so long and not getting an Oasis, which is a shock to me because they upped the waiting on it. But what this BTB Unlimited playlist will offer is going to be BTB Escalation Slayer, CTF, Slayer, Fiesta, Fiesta Total Control, as well as regular Total Control. My assumption is that some of these Slayer modes will have Bandit Rifle starts, but I would assume you have a mix in of just your regular sidekick Assault Rifle starts as well. I'll have a video up tomorrow morning if you guys want to check out how the gameplay of BTB Unlimited really plays out. One thing that definitely needs to update though is your subscription to this channel because 63% of you are not subbed. We've been uploading daily Season 3 videos about Halo Infinite. We're going to be talking about Halo moving forward as well, so if you guys want to come along for the ride, we'd really appreciate you. Those of you who are subscribed probably remember me talking about this tweet the other day saying there was a patch coming in for Halo Infinite. Though we didn't get any specifics or any time frame, but now we do. Saying that Wednesday, March 15th, we'll have a patch coming out for Halo Infinite. Saying that this update includes fixes for the 120 hertz option on Xbox Series consoles, armor hull stability, flag juggling, mode information for custom games, and more. Full patch notes will be shared at that time so you know we're going to be covering that on this channel. Next, we've got some solid feedback given to the competitive side of things when it comes to ranks within Halo Infinite, as there have been some issues that people have been expressing since the launch of Season 3. And Tashi actually hit up on Twitter here to kind of reply to some people saying what they're talking about. One player here saying that the system is completely chalked for ranks, saying this is the first season that he's actually been stuck at Diamond. I can't match people in my MMR. Tashi did reply to this tweet asking like, what exactly is he talking about? What's the exact issue that he's having? Mint Blitz, popular YouTuber on here, says he's probably means the MMR balancing teams in such a way to make him lose games. Talking about how the MMR will basically try to balance the teams out where the really good player gets thrown in that lobby has to completely carry. And if they don't do an amazing job, well, they're going to lose the game. Now, me as a lowly diamond player, I haven't really come across too many issues. I feel like I've been able to find relatively balanced matches. Like, yeah, there are some games where some people kind of throw or whatever, but that just kind of happens within regular multiplayer. But from my experience so far, I have been able to rank up for the most part, and it's been a fun time. This is a developing story, so as soon as we get some more information, you know, I'll share with you guys here on the channel. Last bit of news, guys, we have some forge fixes coming in. As with the season three update, brought some new problems with it, but looks like things are going to be changing for us recently here. The lead uh, 343 for Forge, Michael Shore, hit up saying that in a dev build, they got things kind of set up and blob bugs have been fixed, saying that the sphere pivot has been fixed internally, the node graph budget issue has been fixed internally, multiple node connection issue in progress when it comes to being fixed, version loading issue has been fixed internally, a controller input transform issue has been fixed internally. What you're saying by this means that like within the dev build at 343, they've been able to figure this out but that's different from what we are playing right now this is the live build that players get to have so there's gonna be a little bit of time when it comes to getting these fixes in they're probably not gonna be thrown in with the wednesday patch that we just talked about earlier in the video now we could see this coming maybe next week or two something like that as soon as we get that information from 343 you know i'll share it with you guys here on the channel as well this season three update has brought a lot of stuff to the game like great but also some issues as well and i talk about them all within this video so thank you very much for watching really appreciate it Catch you on the next one. Peace out.